Yo, what it do? It's your boy, Doc. Check it out. The new Lunar Dow program is out by Universal Audio. I downloaded it last night, checked it out. I've been waiting for it to see what it's about. And I'm going to give you my opinions about it. Um, at first look, it looks like the console of the UAD console software which is pretty nice because uh, I'm familiar with the console. I use it all the time when I'm recording. Um, as you can see on the screen right here, is, uh, this is the mix, the edit window. I'm sorry. This is the edit window. This is the mix window right here. Um, I've only been messing with it probably about a day now. Um, I haven't really dug super deep into it, but I wanted to see what it was about and, and see how it compared to uh, Pro Tools, Logic, and Studio One. And um, so far, it has its pros and cons. Um, I, overall, I think it's a very nice program uh, because of the way it integrates with your Universal Apollo interfaces. But one thing that I don't like is it don't have audio suites. So it's hard to process a particular uh, sound or a particular uh, clip that you might want to um, add some EQ to or something, they don't have audio suites. So that might be something that, something that they'll uh, upgrade when it comes to the next version of this. Um, it's just like uh, Logic as far as uh, all it uses is uh, AU plugins, no VSTs. So you have to have something um, like um, a, a, a patch a patch bay to install VSTs if you have VSTs on your computer um, that you use. But it definitely works in there. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you an example right quick. Let's go to the mix window. Right here. Blue Cat Patch, uh, patch uh, Bay, which is this right here. With this plug-in right here, I'm able to install... Or not install, but I'm able to bring up VST plugins that I might use. So I have this one on my master channel that I'm just I'm just uh, really right now just messing around with the program, getting familiar with it. But I brought this up through this is a VST, and I brought it up through here, through this um, Blue Cat's patchwork, and it works pretty good. It works pretty 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 good. Um, let me close that. Other than that, I think the overall sound of this uh, this program is very, very nice. Um, I, I do like this uh, tape um, saturation. I've been trying it out on a couple instruments, and it sounds pretty, 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 pretty good. Uh, let me see. Let's go back to the, to the edit window. Most of the, most of the shortcuts that are on here are... Um, the same as Pro Tools, so it's pretty good um, with me using Pro Tools and um, familiar with a lot of shortcuts. It's pretty easy to navigate through through this. The same way as um, how I use it in Studio One Four, so it's pretty nice. I'm gonna play this track. I'm gonna show you how it sound um, after um, I did a little mix into it, and you can you can see how it sound for yourself. Let's see here. It's just the beat that I made, and um, I, I wanted to just mess around with the program a little bit to see how it sounds. The beat.
it's not hard to navigate through this program. I'm quite sure with the up upgrades that they'll have, they'll um, add some more stuff on here. Hopefully, they'll add some like the audio suites, and um, that'd be like terrific, very terrific. Another thing that um, they probably should do is make it where you can divide. If you got two screens, you can put a, your edit on one window and your, your, your mixer on the other window. I haven't seen anywhere on here where I can do that. So definitely I, I want to um, see if they can add that. Other than that, I think this program is pretty nice. Um, right here, you can navigate and see different uh, parts of your of your Luna uh, back in the background. Uh, right here, settings, of course. This is uh, where you can see all of your inputs and outputs. As you can see, I have an Apollo 8 and I have an Apollo Twin connected. So both of them are uh, coming up through here, through here, working pretty pretty good. Actually, the microphone that I'm talking to you on is coming through my um, Universal Audio console. It's not coming through the recording program. It's coming through the console. So I like how you can integrate that and make everything work perfectly. Uh, right here, manage. This is pretty much showing you what plugins that you have installed and uh, which ones you can buy, other um, different um, tape uh, recorders. Uh, like this one right here is free. This is free. The ARP is free. But the Neve Summings and the, um, the Stutter 8, A800, is uh, you have to pay for those. So I might check them out, see what they're about. I haven't even downloaded this uh, expansion right here yet. Um, I got so many VSTs that I I'm, I don't even know if I would even use their VSTs to create music with. Uh, that would be my, my next thing to create a beat up in here to see, you know, how the MIDI works and, you know, how, how I can, um, my workflow can go inside of this. Um, right here under Discovery, you can... Um, Go in here and look at other uh, plugins. You can look at tips and tricks, um, different different instruments you can buy. You know, different stuff that links you right to the UAD website. Uh, UAD plugins uh, right here. So you can go right here and you can um, see what plugins you have if you want to buy any. Uh, pretty much like you see, I own this. I own a, a quite a few different plugins from Universal Audio, but you could buy straight from here, pretty much like how you can out the uh, out the the console. Pretty much, it's almost pretty much the same. Uh, up here on the top left, the second one right here is a create button. Um, this is where you create your your songs. Um, you can start from um, the title and. You know, change the location, your signature, tempo, pretty much, you know, um, like a lot of different programs uh, when you're ready to create a song. Right here are the recent recent files right here, the recent um, sessions, basically, that you have. Um, if you hit this button at the top, it takes you back to your session. So that's pretty good. Overall, out of a 10, I would probably give this program and eight and that's pretty high for it to just be the first version because of the sound that is that it gives you is very great it's a very great sound i definitely would not take that from them because the universal audio always make um great stuff from their outboard gear to their plugins um their their interfaces and all that so it's very well worth it uh for anybody who owns a universal audio uh, interface is free to download this if you have a mac so so they're really um letting you try it out and see if it's something that you might want to work in uh, i think they're trying to compete with the other dial programs like pro tools or logic or studio one or ableton whichever ones that uh that are out there that people work with and honestly i think if they tighten up a couple things and and um, add a few things Oh, yeah, this program definitely, definitely will be up there with the other ones. But, like I said, this is just the first one. So, with this being the first one, you know, when they um, do their little bug fixes and get the kinks out of certain things, I'm quite sure that it's going to be um, very, 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 very used a lot by a lot of people. 
I'm going to try it out. I haven't recorded in it, but I am going to record in it just to see how it goes. And hopefully I can make a video for that uh, so y'all can see how that how that works out. But other than that, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I'm going to continue to work with it. Uh, like I said, I downloaded it last night. I imported the track so I can mix it down and see how it sounds in here. And, and it actually sounds pretty, pretty, pretty good. I have no complaints about the sound. Um, I'm going to just continue to work with it a little bit more to see, you know, um, work my way around it and see how my workflow can work with this. So I'm going to check it out more. Another thing that I like, let me um, let me um, show you before um, before I end this video. But up here at the top right, top right, right here at your bar is uh, this area right here called workflow. And right here, it controls different things that you want to do as far as recording, MIDI, um, your edit window um, with copy and paste and all that. Sh pretty much shortcuts to what you want to do. Um, right here, uh, this is your mix window um, tab. Um, I'm going I'm to see how that works. I haven't really thought about using it yet um, because, it's, like I said, it's only my first time putting a beat in here and working around it and seeing what's going on but i'm going to give it um some more tries i'm going to work on it for about another week or so see how it works if it go with my the flow of my um the way i work and man who knows it might be the next best thing so i really don't know this is um luna dial it just came out and uh, if you own a own a Mac and you own a, a Universal Audio interface, I recommend downloading it, checking it out, seeing how it it goes with your workflow, and it, it you know it might just do the job. I like um, how it got the controls over here, your cue points, all that type of stuff. How you can route different things from the headphones or whatnot. Um, as you can see, I have three different headphones because I got two different pieces. Um, pretty much, I just use. Um, I really don't even use these uh, headphone outputs for the simple fact that I have a Persona Central Station because I have multiple speakers connected. But who knows? That might work good in the future for something. Um, I'm going to check it out and see. You got your control room uh, functions right here that you can turn. Um, you, can, you can show or, or, you know, take off. And your basic... Uh, console mixer right here the is basically showing the same thing that's coming from your uad console interface uh software so it's pretty nice um i recommend that you check it out um and see if it's uh something that might fit in your production or recording flow um i'm gonna check it out a little bit more like i said so until then peace thanks for watching I hope this video was a little helpful to anybody. I'm a producer, recording engineer for over 25 years, so I'm pretty familiar with a lot of programs. So I'm just giving you my opinion about it, and it's up to you to find out and see if it's something that you will want to work with yourself. So until next time, peace. Mm -hmm.